hello everyone so today we will make a video uh, to show you how to make a function block and a library file in uh, codes software so today uh, we will make a program to make a function block to give an output uh, for us to create some pulses like on off pulse you can define how much will be your on pulse time and what will be your off pulse time as an example you can define any any kind of program in the in a function block so let's start we'll make a new program and uh, this will let let's make a main program here then we will make a library okay let's uh, make the library in a new folder okay in this you can make a function block let's call the function block as pulses okay and you can define your folder let's call my libraries my function blocks can give any name so in in the in the pulses we will make a, a new program to make the pulse so uh, you can, uh, when you define a function block you can already see here uh, you have something called variable input variable output then your local variables so variable inputs will be the variables that you are giving as an input to the function block output will be the output of the function blocks so for my function block i need uh, three variables so one will be to enable uh, we'll make it as a bool then I need a pulse on time. So I'll create on time. The variable type will be time. Then I need a off time. Okay. So now my inputs are ready. Now I need an output. This will be my uh, output from the function block let's call our output as uh, output pulse okay now let's uh, make uh, the program so we'll start with the uh, and uh, before before we starting we need to call the basic libraries to the to your program so we'll call utility library so this will hold all the basic uh, function blocks okay now we will make the program So I'll be using my enable uh, to start my timers. So this will be my on pulse time. my output output will come from here okay so now my on pulse is ready now i need to create a off off uh, off pulse so my off pulse should start once my uh, on pulse finish so i'll make a f trigger of uh, this one
and this will be my off pulse time. Now my when my off pulse finish I need to start my on pulse again. So I will make or Okay, now my program is ready to make some pulses. Now let's call this uh, function block into my program. So go to the PLC program. This will be your main program. Now let's make a, a function block and we need to give the name pulses because we named our function block as pulses. Okay, so now we called our block to the main program. So now let's uh, Give some name. My pulse and uh, inputs. I define a variable called enable, which will start my pulses. So I need to define the on time. my output let's call pulse out okay so now we will uh, run and see run enable okay so i have my pulses like two second on time and one second of time okay so now uh, this is how you make a function block and call to the program okay now let's make uh, this function block as a library file so we can delete this uh, plc program okay now we you need to go you have the save as option okay here you have the option called uh, you will make it as an internal library and you can define any name now let's define as my library So my library file is created okay if you want if you want to protect your library you can protect over here in project database sorry in object properties you can define uh, who can access and who cannot access like if i give no access nobody can view this and you can create your password uh, if you if you if you want to create the password you can go here and you can create the password so if you type the password only you can open the library so anyway let's uh, we already saved it as uh, my library now let's create a new program and we will call that library okay program fpd okay now you go to your library manager and call the library where you saved it so i saved in desktop my library okay now you can see this is my library so i have i made the library uh, for pulses so you can see here okay now let's call this again let's call this uh, uh, pulses to to the main program okay so there you have it so you can uh, make fbs uh, library files uh, using this method and uh, if you make fb you can only really use for that program so uh, if you make a library file you can use for any program so this is the how you do it i hope uh, this was clear so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubts, put, uh, put in the comments.